new feature has been added in uh, NAV 2013 and 2013 R2. It's the default for new installs, but for existing installs, the process is required to actually upgrade. It is to use a complete login, um, same way as you see it, including domain access. There's a new field, use complete user ID, uh, that must be checked uh, in the setup for that one. So if I go in and look at the setup right now, the new fields, use complete use ID is not set because this one is an upgraded database. So if I try to set that one, I get an error that login already exists. So uh, I can't really um, just check that one. So to change that one, I'll have to delete all the logins. And uh, before you do that one, you should really go take a look at all the access controls out here. And just show for all users. And copy those ones, for example, um, to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll copy the row and I'll paste them in Excel. So I have them for later on. Because I will have to redo the user setup to switch this one. So um, to be able to change this, I'll have to go back here and say, okay, delete all the logins in here. It don't touches anything in production, but it just deletes them inside each the security in here. So I can now go back to my security setup and it allow me now to check this field use complete setup. Then I'll go back to my logins and get new logins from live up here. It's now reading um, the current users again, and it will put them into easy security. In here. So we created the restore point and it added uh, 10 logins back. And now we have the full domain name plus the username. What it did, it actually added all the access controls. So I can see guests now have 30 access controls and Sandy or Susan down here have 30 access controls. I know from before that I actually didn't have all those ones because uh, I wanna, um, I had actually just used one single group in here. So I know that I used the group sales and it was in the group operations down here and I actually got that one from the sales spreadsheet. The other thing is my user guest has a lot of um, permissions up here also and I was actually using permission as user ID up here for that one. So I'm going to delete those lines also and I'm going to set up the user again uh, to be like the user Susan down here. Like it was set up before actually. So um, I now re-established how my lookup was, or how my setup was before. So let's go ahead and now do a publish. And it now works exactly the way. But the process is get rid of the logins, put in the information, then how users actually had permission and that's as simple as it is to actually switch to use a complete uh, login. It removes all the problems that could exist with Windows login mapping and other things when you had multiple domains in here and it works in 2013 and 2013 actually. really no difference than just the data in the login tables and the login access control table inside easy security and that's all there is um, going to be also changes for so the publish here it won't really change anything it's just to confirm that everything is uh, correct matching the current data in here. Mission published finally. 